What's going on everyone, Jason here again, and in this video I'll be showing you how the JavaScript array map method works. So I'll be uh, showing you a couple examples of how to use it uh, using this array that we have here, an array of movie objects. And I'll also be showing you how to create your own map method so you better understand how the map method is actually uh, doing its thing. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so first task here that we have is to use the map method to return an array of movie IDs. So then to do that, we can do a const and we'll call this variable, uh, we'll just call it IDs. And this is the array that we'll be working with. So as you can see, we have an array of objects and each object represents a movie with the property ID, uh, with the property of ID, title and rating. And so what we want to do is just return the IDs. So to do that, we can do movies dot uh, map and uh, map uh, takes in a callback function. So let's go ahead and pass that in, pass in an anonymous function there. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so that uh, callback function can take three arguments. It can take the well, it needs to take the um, item that we'll be iterating over. And uh, in this case, for it to make sense, we'll just call it movie. And then the second argument would be the uh, index. So we'll just give it an I there. And the third argument uh, will be the array. But we won't actually be using that, so we can just remove that for now. So then what we want to do is we want to return in a new array that has all of the IDs. And so uh, to do that, we'll just do return movie.ids. Nope, oh, sorry, ID. And so what this is doing then is uh, this, uh, this callback function will be applied to every element inside the array and whatever we return here will return that into a new array that the map method is actually creating for us so if we go ahead and do that do a console.log of ids and then we'll save that and we'll do a node index.js uh, let's see so movies, let's see, movies is not defined, uh, right, because I am defining it down here. So I would need to add it up here. All right. All right, so then we were trying to access uh, the movies array before it was actually defined. So uh, as you can see here, we have an array of the IDs. So that's working. So now for our second uh, case that we need to do is we want to use the map method to return an array of movie objects with the ID and title pair. So basically we just want an array of objects that has the IDs, uh, has the ID and title of each movie. So then we can go ahead and do const and do uh, ID title pair. And then we'll do movies.map and uh, this will, again, pass a callback function. Uh, there we go. Oops. All right. And uh, we'll pass in the uh, movie. And uh, we don't need to pass in the uh, index since we're not using it. And so we'll go ahead and return. Let's see, we'll return an object because remember we want to return an array of objects. So uh, we want to return an object. And then here we want to do a uh, ID title pair. So we'll do ID. And then we'll do movie.id. And then we'll do, let's see, uh, title. And then we'll do movie.title. All right. And then we'll go ahead and console.log ID title pair. And let's go ahead and console.log or comment that out. Cool. So we'll go ahead and call node index.js again. And now, as you can see, we have an array of objects with the ID and title pair of those movies. So that is working. And our last 
uh, our last task is to create your own map method and use it to return an array of objects with the title and rating pair. And so uh, to do that, uh, we want to create our own map method. So let's say we want to just call this map copy. And so as you can see, all arrays uh, have access to this map function. So then what we, what we would need to do is create a, uh, another function on the array prototype. So we can do array dot prototype dot map, and then we'll call this copy. And uh, so any uh, functions that we create on the array dot prototype, uh, whenever we create a new array, then uh, we'll have access to whatever function we created. So in our case, we're going to create this map copy function. So when we create our new, um, when we uh, create this task to uh, return this title rating pair, we're actually going to do uh, our array dot map copy like that. So first we'll need to create the map copy uh, function. So then uh, map copy will be a function. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and so remember, uh, map is a function. And uh, as its argument, it's a callback function that we pass in there. So if we go in here, we can just do callback. So this will reference uh, the function that we pass in here. And so what um, this, and remember what the map method actually does is it returns a new array for us. So in here, we'll have to do a let, and we'll just call this results. And we'll set it to an empty array for now. And uh, remember uh, what we also, what this map method also does is that it takes this callback function and it uh, basically applies it to every element in our array. So to do that, what we would need to do is we'll have to do, uh, basically we'll need to iterate over the array. So we'll do uh, a for loop. We'll do let i equal to zero. And uh, we're, we're going to take this dot length. And um, this will be referencing whatever uh, array we're calling the map copy on. So this will just be an array. And so let i equal to zero. And then uh, for this dot length uh, less than, oh, sorry, for zero, sorry, for, <laughs> for i less than this dot length, we want to then uh, iterate over that array while i is less than the length of the array. So then we'll do i plus plus, okay. All right, so now we're iterating over the array. And for each element in that array that we're iterating over, we want to take our callback uh, function. And we want to then go ahead and uh, pass in. And remember, the uh, first argument in the uh, map method is the element of the array. So for that, we can just do this, which is going to be the array. And then we'll do i. And the second argument would be the uh, index. So we can just do I there. So that should work. And then we can do a return results. And whoops, I'm sorry. So I actually have to do results.push. There we go. So whatever this uh, callback function returns, we want to push that uh, return item or whatever it returns into our results array. And then we're going to return the results array here. So that looks good. So then now we can create our uh, new uh, array. So we'll do const, call it title rating. And then we will do, uh, let's see, so we'll do movies dot map copy and that is our new uh, array function and we can pass and we can do a movie there and then we can do i but we won't be using it so we'll just uh, get rid of it and so this will be a callback function and remember we'll need to return uh, the title 
rating pair. So we can just do title and then we'll do movie.title and then we'll do rating and then we'll do movie.rating. There we go. Okay, so we can do a console.log of, let's see, title rating and looks good. Let's go ahead and comment that out. Okay, so let's save that. And then we'll do a uh, node index.js. And as you can see, we have a array of objects with the uh, title and rating pair. And so if we would remove this um, map copy function, just to make sure it's not going to work, we can rerun that. And as you can see, movies.mapcopy is not a function because map copy is, well, it's not a function because it's not on the array prototype. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, uh, so let's say a few examples of how the map method works in JavaScript and also how to create your own map method as well. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that, but that's just a way for you to better understand uh, how the map method works and how it's doing its thing. But uh, yeah, so that is the video and hopefully you found it valuable. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.